Hello, my name is Erin. This tutorial shows how to adjust paragraph spacing in Word for Mac. We'll begin by changing the spacing before and after individual paragraphs. Then we'll adjust the space before and after all the paragraphs in a document. Don't miss the brief discussion at the end about Word's built-in paragraph spacing options and why you may not want to use them. These steps don't affect the line spacing within the paragraphs. We'll cover line spacing in Word for Mac in a separate tutorial. Today I'll be using Word for Microsoft 365 for Mac. These steps also apply to the one-time purchase versions of the software back to Word 2016 for Mac. If you're on a PC, please see this tutorial's companion video how to adjust paragraph spacing in Microsoft Word, which is linked below. To adjust the space before or after individual paragraphs, begin by selecting the Home tab. From there, I suggest selecting the Show Hide button to reveal your formatting, including paragraph marks. Next, select the paragraph or paragraphs you want to adjust and then select the Line and Paragraph Spacing button, followed by Line Spacing Options from the drop-down menu. When the Paragraph dialog box appears, enter an amount into the Before or After text box. Avoid entering numbers in the Before and After text boxes at the same time because multiple adjustments may cause unwanted results. Next, ensure that Don't Add Space Between Paragraphs of the Same Style is not selected. When you're finished, select the OK button. The spacing should be adjusted for the paragraphs you selected. If you selected the Show Hide button earlier, you can now reselect it to rehide your formatting marks. Now we're going to adjust the paragraph spacing for the entire document without affecting heading spacing. To begin, place your cursor inside one of your paragraphs. Then select the Home tab, and from there select the Styles Pane button. When the Styles Pane appears, your paragraph style should be automatically selected. This style will usually be Normal, unless you've created a custom style. Next, select the Select All button. Your paragraphs should be selected, but your headings should not be selected. Now, select the Line and Paragraph Spacing button, and then select Line Spacing Options from the drop-down menu. Once again, enter an amount into the Before or After text box in the Paragraph dialog box. As mentioned earlier, avoid entering numbers in the before and after text boxes at the same time because multiple adjustments can cause unwanted results. Next, ensure that Don't Add Space Between Paragraphs of the Same Style is not selected. And then select the OK button. The spacing should be adjusted for all the paragraphs in the document, and the heading spacing should not be affected. If you're finished working with styles, you can select the X to close the styles pane. If you select the Design tab, you'll notice that the Paragraph Spacing menu includes six built-in options. You can use these options instead of custom paragraph spacing. However, you may not want to do so because these options will also adjust the line spacing within your paragraphs. Regardless of how you choose to adjust your paragraph spacing, remember to save your file to save your changes. I have a growing collection of tutorials about Word for Mac, including how to create a custom heading style in Word for Mac and how to adjust the space between words in Word for Mac. Please see the complete list in the playlist titled How to Use Word for Mac, which is linked in the description box below. 
all the steps we just performed are listed with images on erinwritewriting.com along with all my other writing-related software tutorials to help you succeed at work and in the classroom. Feel free to leave me a comment if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to talk about in the future. And please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. And give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching.